Redeemed Radio Drama. Starring Ben Teets, Lucas Teets, Anthony Crossley, Faith Ellis, and Sophia Tovar. Bennett. This can be no trick. The conference was sadly born. Born. Really? Okay. They have the truth of this from Hero. They seem to pity the lady. It seems her affections have their full bent. Full bent? What are they saying? Love me. Okay, I understand that. Love me. Why is it to be requited? What does that mean? What is... Who says requited now? What is... Okay, alright. I hear how I am sen... Censored? No, censured. Okay, got it. They say I will bear myself proudly if I perceive the love come from her. You bet I will. Uh, they say, too, that she will rather die than give any sign of affection for me. Oh, okay. I did never think to marry. Yeah, right. Okay, alright. Skipping to the end. This is too long. Alright, ah, here we go. I can bear them witness and virtuous. Tis so. I cannot reprove it and wise, but for loving me. But by tr my troth. Troth. What is. What. What language is this written in? Oh, I'm so doomed. Hey, bro, what's up? Practicing my lines. You tried out for the play? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> why on earth did you sign up for it? Wait, I think I know why. Does Hope Johnson have a part in this play? Yeah. <laughs> what a loser. You joined the Shakespeare play just so you could spend time with Hope Johnson. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I did. Could you be any more desperate? Wait, wait, do you even understand the play? A little. <laughs> Alright, right. did you call me only to make fun of me? What's going on? Oh yeah, that's right. I called because there's going to be a party over at Brian's house later. His parents left for a cruise or something last night. I can't. I have plans. Wait. If you say that you have play practice... On a Friday night, I'm going to come over there and personally kick your Shakespearean butt. Hey, I have a date tonight with Hope. Mm -hmm. What's the catch? What do you mean? There's no way that you worked up the courage to ask Hope out on a date. It took you forever to ask her for a piece of paper in Spanish class, and she was sitting right behind you. Well, I did, all right. And she said yes. Whatever. There has to be another explanation. But fine. Go on your fake date tonight, and I. but I'm still going to stay the night over at your place afterward, right? Yep, that's fine. Just give me a call, and I'll drive over there and pick you up. But don't call before nine. That's right, because you will be on your fake date with Hope Johnson. Oh, my gosh. I got it. I wouldn't want to disturb you and your imagination. Okay, breathe, breathe, it's going to be okay, just a day, with Hope Johnson, yeah, okay, okay, here we go. Hello? Um, hello ma'am, um, is Hope home? Oh, you must be Sam. Yeah, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, come on inside. Oh, thank you. Hope said you were going to pick her up. You wait here, and I'll go get her. What are you doing here, Sammy? Elijah, I I'm here for Hope. We're, we're going out. I, I mean, we're not going out, but we are we're going out. out. Yeah. I know you're not dating. She's my sister, and there is no way anyone in my family would date someone like you. Like me? Yeah. What's wrong with me? You're a loser, Sam. 
Hope is a good Christian girl from a good Christian family. So because I don't go to church, I'm not good enough for your family? What are you? Better than me? Yes. Yes, I am. If I hear that you have treated my sister with disrespect in any way, you are going to have to answer to me. Hi, Sam. Hi, Hope. Are you ready to get going? Yeah, 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 let's, let's go, let's go. Okay, you guys have a good time. Mom, I'm only going to help him with his lines for the school play. It's not like we're going on a date or anything. Well, you can still have a good time, can't you? Bye, Mom. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. I, I do much wonder that one man, seeing how much another man is a fool when he dedicates his behaviors to love, will, after he hath laughed at such shallow follies in others, become the argument of his own scorn by failing in love. And such a man is plucked. So, what is it that you just read? I have no idea. I know it can be hard to understand sometimes. What your character is doing is making fun of his friend Claudio. He is calling him a hypocrite. You see, Benedict and Claudio used to make fun of other men when they were in love. Now that Claudio is in love with Hero, he's doing all the dumb stuff that the other men did. Have you ever seen someone do something dumb in the name of love? Yeah. Mm, one thing comes to mind. And did anyone call him stupid? I think I remember Ben calling him. I'm mean, him a loser. Mm -hmm. You see? Then your character is a lot like Ben. Hmm. You're really good at this, this stuff. I love reading Shakespeare. At least this story. Thank you so much for helping me with my, not, my lines. You're welcome. So... Have you ever been in love? Oh, me? Me? No, no, not really. Oh. I, I mean, I have, I have this crush on, I mean, I had, had, had this crush on this girl before, but... Sounds like you're a lot like Claudio. He doesn't really know what to do when he's in love. I, I do know what to do, just haven't done anything. Oh. So, you have a crush on a girl now. Who is it? I can't tell you that. Why not? Uh, if Ben knew, he would tease me about it forever. Oh. Mm. Sounds like Ben is a lot like Benedict. <laughs> ben, Benedict, it's the same. We should call Ben Benedict the next time he makes <laughs> fun of you in your crush. Yeah, he probably would like that. They're a lot alike. Maybe we can match your character with your friend. That way it is easier to understand what your character is doing. Tell me more about Ben. Hmm, ben, I don't know. He's very into himself. Good. So is Benedict. He gets in arguments with lots of people sometimes. Why? I'm not sure. I think he feels like he has to be better than everyone else. So does Benedict. He is... He has to have the last word in everything. My character Beatrice can't stand that about Benedict. Doesn't your character fall in love with my character? Yes. I think it's because they find out that they are really the same. Sure, they come from different worlds, but in the end they are really similar. I also think that your character is shy. He would like to tell her that he likes her, but he's afraid of what she might say. It's amazing that they would fall in love at all. Well, your character is tricked into falling in love. People tell you how much my character likes him. When he knows that she likes him, it makes him more confident to ask her out on a date. It's funny that he was tricked so easily. How, how, how about your character? How, how does she... She fell in love with me. I mean, Benedict. She's tricked, too. When she finds out that Benedict likes her, she does things to help him get to know her. And that's really interesting. It's amazing that she would just fall in love with him. You fall in love with me first. What? Oh, oh. Oh. So, um, oh. I'm so sorry. I, did, it, did I spill any on you? 
Just a little. I'm fine. It's only water. Such an idiot. Do you want to go home? <laughs> I can handle a little water. Alright. Where were we? People do stupid things when they're in love. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure glad that Mrs. Delsandro suggested that we work in pairs to learn our lines. I suggested it. I, I think your phone is ringing. Oh, oh it, it's only Ben. It's, it's okay. So, you suggest that we work in dates and uh, in groups and in pairs? I mean, pair, pairs. Pairs. You know, get to know each other better. It's always nice to hang out with people outside of class. Oh, yeah. I think the only other time you would talk to me would be when you asked me for paper in Spanish class. Spanish class. I'm not sure, but I think that Ben really wants to talk to you right now. Sorry. It's okay. Hello? Ben? What? What? Can't you get a ride home? No, I can't. Kind of in the middle of something right now. You need to go and get him? He's... He's a little... Okay, okay, Ben. I'll be there in a minute to pick you up, alright? Stay there until I get you. What's wrong? I'm sorry. Ben went to a house party and... Drank too much, and now he's lost in lost in the park somewhere. Oh, how did he end up in the park? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that you were drinkers. No, no, we're, we're not. At least I'm not. This time, this is the first time I've ever heard of Ben drinking at all. Well, I guess we should go get him. Well, oh, no. Uh, I should take you home first. Ben is wandering around somewhere in the park by himself. There is no telling what he's doing. You can drop me off at home when we finish picking him up, okay? I'm sorry that our study session had to be cut so early. It's okay. You can ask me out on another study session later on. Ben! Ben? I thought you said he was here at the park. That's what he said. Ben! There he is. Ben, where have you been? I thought I told you to stay. And I fell in. Why are you all <laughs> wet? Like, I was trying to feed the ducks and I, I, I fell in. I hope. I didn't think thing Sam was telling the truth about you. What do you mean? It's nothing. Let's just get in the, in the car. Come on, let's go. to your face! Stupid Brian hit me. Brian? Wasn't it his house you were at? Why did he hit you? I, I, I don't know. I was just dancing with some fine chicks when this picture frame fell down. Next thing I know, Brian getting in my face and yelling at me. I told him to back off. It was a stupid picture frame anyways. All these stupid birds on it and stuff. Ben... Was that picture frame glass with two doves on the side? Yeah. That was his parents' wedding picture and glass frame. <laughs> I know, stupid, right? Oh. I'm so sorry, Hope. It's okay. Hope, I am so shocked that you're here. When Ben said he had a date with you tonight, I thought you were lying. No, Ben! said that I was meeting up with Hope to study lines. Yes, that's right, Ben. Anyway, we were having a great day until we had to come and rescue you. I am sorry. I didn't mean to drink so much, but Brian's older brother kept passing me drinks. Well, you should have said no. Look at yourself now. You look horrible. You're all wet and you're getting a black eye. I don't feel very good. That's right, Brian's poor parents' picture frame is probably ruined and- oh, 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 oh. Ah! I'm feeling a lot better now. Oh, I'm sorry, Hope. I want to go home now.
now. I can't handle this. Okay, okay, okay. I can't believe you threw up on her. I cannot believe you threw up on her. I have been waiting forever to go on a date with Hope Johnson, and what do you do? You threw up on her! Look, man, I told you I'm sorry. What else can I do? Do you want me to apologize to her? We've tried to call her, and she's not taking her phone calls. Kind of hard to apologize to someone who's not answering the phone. She is never going to speak to me again. There are more women in the world than Hope Johnson. Don't you give me that more fish in the sea junk. Well, it's true. What is so special about Hope Johnson, really? I don't know. Something about her. She's different. <sighs> Jeez, you're stupid. Stupid? I'm not the one who decided to go out to a party and get drunk, break stuff, and end up in a abandoned park in the middle of the night swimming with ducks and then throwing up all over the nicest person in this world. If anyone is getting the stupid award today, it is you, my friend. You know, man, I'm sorry. You're right. I blew it today. What were you thinking? I don't know. Just wanted to have a good time. Seems like no matter what I do, I mess something up. I mean, my teachers hate me, my parents can't stand me, I ruined my best friend's date, I feel like I can't do anything right. I mean, and, I mean, man, it seems just so easy to do the right thing. Just to do the right thing, but never works out. The things I want to do, I just don't do. The things I don't want to do, just happen. I'm sorry, man. You're sorry? What are you sorry for? I don't know. You know, I feel the same way sometimes. It seems so easy just to walk up to somebody and ask them out on a date, but I can't seem to do it. How is asking someone on a date the same as me and my pathetic excuse of life? If you're asking Hope Johnson on a date is the worst thing you have to deal with, then you have no idea what I'm going through. What are you going through? Feels like I'm watching my life in someone else's eyes. Like, I can see myself doing things that are dumb, and I know what's going to happen, but I just can't stop myself. I have no control. My life's been hijacked. Look, thanks for letting me stay tonight at your place. I really don't think I want to be home right now. You're welcome. And whatever it takes, I'll find a way to get Hope to forgive you. How are you feeling now? Not sure. Not sure if I want to throw up again or jump off a cliff. Well, luckily for you, there aren't any cliffs around here anyway. And, uh, you know, you're too lazy to walk any to one anyways. Were things going good on your date? Yeah. I think. You think? I'm not sure if she was telling me that she likes me or if she was just explaining the play to me. I mean, why do girls have to be so confusing? Why can't they just say, I like you? You're right. If they like you, they should just say it and stop beating around the bush. Yeah. Stop talking in circles and just come out with it. Yeah. No games. No stupid sidestepping like working up to the courage to ask her for a piece of paper in class. And definitely no joining stupid plays just to get close to her. You know, you're a butthead, right? <laughs> but I'm right. <laughs> I, I really think that Hope was opening up to me. I mean, we really connected. I mean, so everything was just going perfect until you... Oh, 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 hmm. Guess I didn't feel like jumping off the cliff. Uh, you're going to be lucky if I don't throw you off first.